Hi, I'm Sagar. And I'm Rhoda, Camel of the Desert. He's Mo. So, what's on your mind? <laughs> What if humans lived underwater? And hear me out. This may sound a bit absurd. And oh, I'm sure like so many iterations are out there in video games and movies. But what if humans lived underwater in these um, connected bubbles with tubes in between them? Okay, so they're, con- they're living in connected bubbles. And these are like the housing facilities, right? Underwater? Yep. Um, hmm. Where did they get the oxygen from? Wait, how how were we bringing oxygen into the... I, I mean, if you think about it... I, I, I'm trying to think about it, and I still don't know how. Unless we're recycling oxygen, which is kind of terrible, but... Oh, no, we're not... Uh, they, they wouldn't be recycling oxygen, uh, oxygen. They would be getting oxygen from the water itself. So they would have these uh, filter units that would convert the water into oxygen... And whatever carbon dioxide comes out would be fed to the plants and vice versa. Okay. Thanks for the little class on uh, how, you know, science and construction works. But um, I feel like it would have to be something a lot more miraculous. Some people decided not to live in the bubbles. They live in, you know, whales, for instance. Would, Would that be fine? Would they still have to pay rent? Do they have to pay rent for the whales? I mean... Can we buy whales? I mean, uh, hmm. or are they our neighbors? Uh, whales are not. Whales are not the housing units. The whales are just whales. People are not going to live in whales mm-hmm. because they're living underwater in sea, in in these co- in in these colonies, or you know facilities. And um, let's let all right. Let's give this. Let's let's throw this out there. Okay. What kind of changes would humanity would have to adapt? And I'm not saying uh, humanity as a whole. I'm saying that there are certain colonies or, you know, new cities that would be living underwater in these uh, facilities or bubbles. I mean, the first immediate change I can think of is a change of clothes because you can't wear the same type of clothes underwater. Right. What kind of clothes would, be, would they be wearing? I mean, swim trunks if you're going for a swim for, for starters. Uh, I can't imagine a person in a suit sitting in a bubble like, all right, it's, uh, it's a good day. I can't tell if it's day or night because the light isn't coming into the ocean. But I'm wearing a suit regardless, you know. It's... What about fish? No, what about the fish? I mean, they could wear, they could make, like, clothes out of fish. Maybe, like, um, these suits with, the, with like, fins on their elbows and knees or feet or whether, whatever. That would replace leather, wouldn't it? That would. It would be like sk- weird, scaly fashion. Is it basically Aquaman? Just the, the the outfit that he wears, but everyone wears it, including for weddings. Oh and yeah, it's just of course. A dress made out of scales. Oh yeah, of course. And they could make the scales in in a beautiful groom and bride uh, uh, design. Like I mean, even the tie would be made made out of scales. Well, okay, speaking of of scales and fish, what about farming? What would they be farming? Would they be farming a specific type of fish? Would they uh, be farming a breed of fish? Would they start to make their own breed, which would be thicker and thicker until they're they're like cow size? Or maybe like what about what about the greens? Would they be uh farming seaweed would they be making one of these weird sea cucumbers uh i think they would have to grow a new type of animal right like underwater cows okay maybe it's just regular cows but with fins on the the side of their necks but instead of mooing all they do is make more bubbles for us to live in um that seems i mean yeah that's that's basically how it would work right would it would it replace the current existing sea cows with sea cows? I mean, not unless you're replacing seahorses with seahorses. That's that's kind of uh, that would be too redundant, right? I think you should just mess around with the naming convention. Sure, we could call like underwater cows 
uh, water cows. <laughs> <laughs> water cows. Um, uh, water horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god well i mean seahorses is already a thing and it's already a perfect name right you say seahorse yeah, and everyone has an idea of what a seahorse is uh water horse on the other hand uh sounds very weird i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend that name um you know what i would want what an underwater alpaca um oh, underwater alpaca. Yeah. yeah 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 so okay do you know how llamas just um uh, yeah, I feel like just having them around would uh, make the giant empty ocean feel a little bit more uh, populated and not like the the sharks are floating above us waiting for the best oppor- opportunity to eat us. Uh, they would have some meals, you know, like, like goats for the velociraptors. That's the thing, too. How would we defend from sharks? I mean, the sharks are basically the predators of the ocean. Mm. Of the waters. I I feel like we shouldn't. Hear me out. Let's try to come to an understanding with them. Give them a job. Um, I feel like they would they would be the perfect loan sharks. Um, and yes, it would be bad if they came after us. But uh, at the very least, you know... Underwater legal action is probably a thing because there's underwater courts, I guess. <laughs> okay, so if these loan sharks are going to go after us and we can't pay them for their rent or uh, for their um, uh, loans, we would have to pay with an arm and a leg, huh? Uh, <laughs> I would hope not literally um, because... Then we'd have to replace it with the underwater equivalent of um, uh, robot arms and legs. That would rust pretty quickly, I, I, I'd imagine. Where do you take this prompt? Because the idea is, you know, everything is underwater now, right? And so that means you have underwater beds, you have underwater uh, internet. Um, the view outside your window is always going to be the ocean, and there's nothing that's going to change that. So maybe people would like to create, in, you know, an atmosphere, I guess. You know, create clouds underwater. And so you'd have weather underwater. And instead of raining water, it would rain air particles. I don't know how that would work, but, you know, it I would... I think it it's would... called bubbles. <laughs> I think that in itself is, is it? called bubbles. Okay, yeah. then it's gonna rain. <laughs> it's gonna rain bubbles. It's gonna rain bubbles. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, there are thunderstorms. Instead of rain, it's a bunch of bubbles. Yes, because if lightning struck, we'd all die very quickly. <laughs> 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 Okay, so how do we counteract lightning? Okay, so the only way to counteract, counteract lightning would be... Um, okay, so the only way to counteract lightning would be if we had uh, a lightning rod. But in this case, all we can use is fish, right? So we just stack a bunch of fish on top of each other until they reach the surface. And so every time the lightning strikes, we have dinner. <laughs> oh no all seafood right uh, every yeah night. okay sure you cooked food uh, cook, uh, cooked fish every night mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay um, <laughs> i like that idea okay um hmm. all right so if we are if we are going for the conventional a uh, lightning rod with fish on top. What about the unconventional? A lightning rod connected to a battery, connected to the colony, connected to the water, using its vibrations to create life! Frankenfish! <laughs> okay, so if you're creating Think life, about it. who's... Okay. Think about it. Frankenfish! Wasn't Franken 
Frankenstein afraid of fire. There's nothing stopping Frank Frankenfish from attacking us except fire. And there is no fire underwater. We're creating an enemy or like a, a, a predator by doing that. Oh, no, 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 my friend. This is not to create an enemy. It's to create the perfect food. Frankenfish. Four types of fish. Four <laughs> to one. Sweet, oh, no. sour, salty, spicy. Oh. Frankenfish. <laughs> and thus it would be a delicacy of this colony and sell it outwards. Huh. I feel like that, that would... I was going to say that that was going to <laughs> that was going to cost a lot to create, but then again, we're gonna to have to talk about currency underwater, um, because there's no way you can hold up the same currency underwater. Let's say you find a sunken pirate ship with a bunch of coins, you know. Um, okay, the doubloons. The doubloons. Um, is that the currency we're going with? Just treasure we found underwater. No. Is that it? Is that the end of the answer? <laughs> yeah, that is my answer. Because okay. doubloons are a currency of the past. Unless they want to revive the currency of doubloons. Or they can, you know, use something like clams or clam shells. I don't know. Oh my god. I, I'm going to steer away from shells because that's the Dungeons and Dragons thing. And I am not over it yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, we can. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you didn't stop at Frankenfish. No, Frankenfish is fantastic. Uh, I, you know, Frankenfish is is good, but that means there's a Frankenfish monster, uh, somewhere lurking around. You're not creating Franken Frankenfish monster. You said you're creating Frankenfish, and so you're creating a scientist fish that's going to end up creating a Frankenfish monster, right? And so it's going to get out of control because then we're going to have a Lilo and Stitch situation where Jumba is creating more more, more life than we can handle. Uh, that doesn't have the same moral compass that we all have, right? Um, and so that would go pretty bad very quickly. Now you're just very bringing bad. space into this. I'm going to bring space into anything we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> you and your space yeah I mean what is you know what is space except uh, the ocean but up there <laughs> <laughs> the ocean but up there <laughs> I think that's where we should end it <laughs> that, is oh, the, God. that is clearly the dumbest thing we've, se we've said so far thank you for listening to Thoughts and Rambles we hope you enjoyed today's conversation. If you'd like to send us any feedback or, you know, art for some reason about people underwater, you can fo follow us on Twitter at, uh, he's at Mo Al Qasimi, M-O-H-A-L-Q-A-S-S-E-M-I. And he's Sagar A-L-Q, S-A-Q-R-A-L-Q. Oh, and thank you so much for the feedback and the fan art. We really appreciate them. We're really happy that you guys are enjoying it. And as much as we love do uh, you know recording the podcast and until next time beware of frankenfish <laughs> 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 <laughs>